Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick tutorial on how to enable maximum performance for your Sabrent Rocket Extreme portable NVMe drive. So first and foremost, you need to have Thunderbolt 3. Without a Thunderbolt 3 connection, you simply aren't going to be able to use these drives. And if you don't take the following steps, you aren't going to get full performance from them either. Now, Sabrent does include uh, paper instructions out of the box. So for those of you worried, don't be. But of course, this video is out there. So if you wanted a video demonstration, you've got that as well. So this is an HP Spectre uh, X360-13T that has two Thunderbolt 3 ports. Uh, so in theory, I can have two of these running at once, but we'll just do one today. So beyond Thunderbolt 3, make sure you have a proper uh, cable as well. This is the one included with the Extreme line of drives. So I'm going to go ahead and connect that to the 4 terabyte drive. Then I'm going to zoom you in so that you can all see uh, the screen and exactly the short steps, and they are very short, that you'll have to take in order to make sure that you have the drive set up properly. So once the drive is detected by Windows, as you can see, it's already been brought up. We have a status LED right on the front of the enclosure. And now the steps are very simple. I'm gonna take the shot in a little bit tighter so that you're able to see this properly. And it's really a very quick uh, you know, number of steps, essentially jumping into device manager. Hello, you guys see my reflection there. So we're just gonna go right down to the uh, start button, right click on that, left click on device manager, and then right here under disk drives, you're going to see Sabrent Rocket Extreme. We're gonna right click that, and then we're going to left click properties. Once we've done that, you'll see at the top, there are several tabs. We're going to left click on policies. You'll notice under the removal po uh, policy, you need to check better performance. Okay, and that's the first step. The second step is enable write caching. Once you've done that, that's it, you're done. Click OK. Essentially, it has modified those permissions and you are done. So, in terms of actually making a transfer now, if I go ahead and jump to uh, my documents, I'll keep the Rocket Extreme Drive right there. Let's go ahead and grab some content from the channel. So, this essentially is how much? A little under nine gigs, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just drop that onto the extreme. And you can see there we are pulling a little over a gig a second. And just like that, a little under nine gigs nearly instantly transferred over to the Rocket Extreme Drive, uh, which of course you see the connection right here. And that's it. I mean, again, really simple, but if you do not take those steps, you will not have the full breadth of performance that the Rocket Extreme lineup has to offer. So that's why I felt it was important to demo this. So again, you do have paper instructions included with these drives, uh, and it really is just that simple. Bear in mind that with those steps taken, it's always advisable to safely remove the hardware. You don't wanna just disconnect uh, the plug. You wanna do a safe removal. Uh, it's not that it will necessarily absolutely corrupt your data, but why take the risk? And for those of you that are curious on how to do that, very simple. You're just going to go right here and eject the media. And you just have to select the correct thing, which in this case, of course, is the Sabrent Rocket Extreme. And that's it. And now it's safe to remove. So there you have, again, just a quick demo on how to enable full performance as well as a little preview of what uh, performance is like if you haven't seen my performance related videos on the Rocket Extreme line. Any questions or comments, please feel, uh, feel free to post them. Uh, of course, please feel free to subscribe. And as usual, also, more importantly, please stay safe. Later.